Hey Crafty Cuties! Welcome back to Paper Terrace. If you're new, I'm Jessica. I almost forgot to film this video that I film every month where I show you what I sent to my Patreon members and I typically have a few spots open when I am filming this in case you're interested and want to get one of these pen pal packs yourself. Um, Patreon is like a monthly subscription that you can cancel anytime. So I'll have that information down below. I'm just going to go ahead and get in. So we're going to start at the dandelion tier. I'm hoping I have these organized correctly because I didn't have time to double check. And there's a lot of background noise, but this month's theme was bohemian themed. And thanks again to Selena at Amore Fabrics for sending all of the gorgeous um, bohemian fabrics. So this is the tier that either gets... Um, it doesn't have guaranteed mail, but I always still send something. So they got a postcard, my little welcome letter, and then just a little uh, snippet or a little sample of Bohemian fabric. Each one was different. Some of them might've got like more like trim, <clears throat> just depends. So yeah, that was nice to be able to send a little sample to that tier. And then this is the Lily's tier. This is kind of like the the basic tier. You get um, a letter, you get a postcard. And I think I did a video showing the postcard pack that I used for this month as well. If that's not up yet, it will go up soon. My filming's a little off schedule and weird. But this is what I made this month for kind of like the main make and it's a Bohemian book page floating pocket. So it can be used in a journal or you could really use it as a little envelope um, if you're giving someone like a card or something, a smaller card or whatever. And so they're all decorated different, but they all have, you know, different bohemian fabrics. And then I also, as a kind of a last minute thought, I made these um, journaling cards and I embossed them and I put gold around the edges I did some in cardstock and in vellum. So again, each one would be different, but my idea was that they fit nicely in here, but also like peeked out. So you, if you had it in a journal, you know, you could pull it out, but if you wanted it to be more hidden, it can also, I think it, yeah, it can fit this way too. And you could just have like that little gold kind of peeking up, which that would, would actually be cute. And then also just a little sample of bohemian fabric. I'm going to stop saying bohemian because I I mean, we could play a drinking game out of that if I keep that up. <laughs> okay, the roses tier. And always keep in mind that these vary from pack to pack. Like they're all going to be a little different. Okay, so we got the thank you card. Or sorry, yeah, the welcome card. This is the postcard for this one. And then the book page floating pocket. Now what I did differently with these, and you'll see in the next tier as well, is I made a little tab also. So sometimes I'll add just a little extra decorating element to whatever item it is for the higher up tiers. And then you'll see this is a cardstock version of the journal card. I love the gold. Oh my gosh, it was so messy, you guys. I have gold wax or gold gilding wax on my phone still. It's on my coffee table. Oh my gosh, I could not get it off. Um, I think I ended up also adding another sample of fabric. I can't remember if there's one or two. So we'll just say one just in case, okay? And then also I gave a little piece of Cantha quilt for, to be used as like a tab in a journal or whatever. And then I also em did one that is embellished and it's a part of a, um, a fabric snippet roll that I made, also made a video showing you how to make your own. And so this is just a really small version of it because this is like the last few envelopes that I had available. But this tier also, gets a five piece junk journal kit and it just has the basics, repair tags, envelopes, those types of things, five little items in there. Okay, now for 
the biggest tier of them all. And at the end of this, I'm gonna do a quick little journal with me and I think I'll use the rose tier for this one because I have the most of those, that tier's envelopes left over. So if you're wanting to get a pack, you can see. I think I have one or two of this one. Welcome card, postcard. Now, some of these postcards in this pack were not the coolest. So you'll see, I always try to save those for the very last one so that all of my like first come first serve people get like the cutest cards. Most of them were very, very cute. There were just some weird ones that weren't my style, so. There's that, and then again, we have the little bohemian floating pocket with a tab. We have a bigger piece of embellished um, cantha quilt, so I thought this would be cute as a tab or something like that on the side of a journal page. A bigger piece of a fabric sample. Same embellished little card. And then I did add, that's right, maybe it was this tier where I added like either some trim or another sample of fabric, it really depended. And then the extra item for this was these cute little Cantha quilt folders that can be turned into like a journal, a, a mini journal. I also hope I have time to do a separate video just using this pack right here and using these items just to make a mini little journal, I hope. And then a five piece little pack. And again, they're usually always different, but I'll take this one out and show you. A little sticker, library card, a little mini uh, policy envelope, layaway tag, and a larger white policy tag. And then I always try to pick really cute little bags that I put them in and I never take them closed because I want this to be like an item that you can use. So that's everything. I had such a pleasure, as always, with this month's items. I am still debating for July what I want to do. I have quite a few ideas. I was thinking a vintage children's theme, like a, a vintage children's book theme would be really fun. Wildflower is always up there. It's just kind of something I always love doing. Um, maybe vintage sewing. All of those very specific things, themes will be harder because it's, it's, I'm going to have to find a lot of those items, but those are some of my ideas. So let me know which one you would like to see in the next, or if you have any ideas that I did not list, feel free to leave those out, but let's go quickly to my journal and we can use these items for a journal spread. So yeah, stay tuned. Hopefully I can do a journal on, or a junk journal with me just on that orchid tier. I'm gonna grab, I'm not really even prepared for this, but we're gonna do it anyways. I got my idea journal here. This is uh, a journal I've been using for a long time, adding different ideas and whatnot into. And I will very, very soon do a full flip through of this journal because it is getting filled up and that's the best feeling is filling up a journal. Okay, so let's see. I always like to, if I can, cover anything that I don't like. Um, and so we're actually gonna start off by, I'm just gonna actually use this envelope. Now I know if you received one of these packs, your envelope doesn't have the tape here, but you could probably reuse the envelope anyways. I'm just gonna put this kind of right on the edge there. And then I'm trying to think of the next biggest item that I could use to cover up. I'm not really even thinking this through right now, I'm just covering up, so that's okay. We'll use this. I had my filming day today and I did get five videos filmed and editing, so that's pretty good. But I was hoping to get like eight videos filmed and I'm trying to get all my videos filmed on whatever day, like my kids maybe go to their grandparents' house or nanny's house, which was today, um, cause I'm not gonna have a ton of time for filming this summer. And so you may notice that there's less filming happening, but anyways, um, this is actually a pretty cute postcard, I realize, I don't know why. It wasn't like my top pick. Um, hmm, I kind of like, actually, I think this will go with our theme. 
Should I use washi tape and have it be like a flip? Cause that would give us more room if we wanted to add something under here or I can just like glue it on and have this be a side pocket. Let's just glue it on actually. Okay. So I'm just gonna add glue like right here, even though, yeah, it could be a good spot for journaling, but I'm just doing this as more of an idea page, so. Oh, I was thinking, since there are little tabs, oh, you know, maybe I did, uh, oh wait, we're using the rose one, that's right, okay. I'm gonna, s hmm. We could do that, or we could go up here. I think I'm gonna go up here, and I am just going to use my staple. And I'm just gonna staple this to the top, because we'll still be able to put stuff in the envelope if I'm just stapling it to the top. And then it will maybe kind of peek out the top of the journal too, which is fun. Okay, I definitely have to use this floating pocket. Now, since it's floating, it's kind of nice to keep it floating, so I could like, um clip it on somewhere but at the same time sort of like that let's see what else we want to do we have a few more things to work with for now i'm just going to put this in this pocket right here like that hmm i sort of like this like this though I have an idea. Okay, so actually what I'm going to do is I'm just going to glue this pocket straight down. <laughs> I got fuzz on the glue stick. And I'm going to put it down at the bottom, which is kind of weird since we have this pocket up here, but it's also kind of fun. And then just for fun, I will put a few things in the pocket here since I like to look back on these and know like what month it is I'm gonna put my little welcome letter in this little tiny policy envelope here like that um oh I know we'll use this little sticker that was in the five piece journal kit and I know I'm not in frame real quick I'm hoping I can get all of this video filmed in one take, but the trick is getting the backing off, and I have talked about several times how I have a little tool that helps me take the backing off, and I can't find it, but that's okay. This one wasn't that hard. There we go. Yeah, that fits perfect. We'll go like that. Cute. Okay. So we're gonna put this in, oops, actually get this in the pocket here. And we'll just have that kind of peeking out like that because I just love seeing layers on my layouts. So I was thinking what we could do with this little sample, which is not the biggest piece, but it's cute. Put it on this policy envelope. I'm not going to be too precise right now because I just want to kind of get it on there. But it would be cute to maybe ink up the edges of this policy envelope too if I had that nearby, but I don't. And I got a little too much glue up there. But I was thinking I could... Oh, I'll get you some in just a sec, Lolo. Oh, are they saying hi? I think we'll just put this in the pocket, kind of peeking out, and then I can just use it as an envelope. Why did you take this? It's broke. It's mommy's. And then I'll just put some of the things in the pockets like this. And I think uh -huh. this is a really cute little layout. Okay. Well, that's probably perfect timing because I think that might be my cue to go. And I sort of want to like, <laughs> I sort of want to use this up since I just have one last piece. I've actually, I don't usually use everything on one layout, but I'm excited that I did. And you know, I'm just going to use this over here 
as an actual page tab. We'll do it on this one because I already had one on the other page. Okay, so I'm just gonna staple this on, kind of fold it over. You seeing in? We'll go like that. Okay, bye. Love you, babe. I'll be right out there. <laughs> she was eating dinner. We're going to go on a walk after this. Um, There we go. So there is that. Yeah. Just a really cute little page. It did not take me long at all. So I hope that this inspired you. And I do hope that if you are receiving these packs, I hope you are actually inspired to really use them in your journals. And... That's all I have got to say for today, guys. So have a lovely day, and I will see you in the next video. Bye, guys.